Assalamu alaikum welcome to another tutorial of Yikitech. Today we will learn about auto layout in iOS development and it is iOS development day 5. So before starting our tutorial if you are not a subscriber of this channel kindly subscribe this channel also like our Facebook page which is Yikitech since tutorial. Take after safe area and um, just drag it to the front view and just remember the safe area adding the inspector UI inspector or you can say constraint inspectors or just add these constraints and after that adding Constraint to the safe area. Remember that you have just zero from the view, zero from the view, and from the safe area, and zero from this safe area. Just add constraints, look like that, and after that, we will just add these three items by command selecting all these items by can, um, adding these items into this stack by just pressing command select all these three and just drag into this stack after this, that we will just um, align them in the center and distribute them fill equally right like this so each has its own individual spaces to see uh, it clearly let me just uh, change the background to the system blue and now just see that each has its own width and height and it, these are placed equally so if we add some spaces in like just one space so then you will see that there is a line between them and I'll try to do it with the two and now let me just add like this place it in between okay let me just uh, do one more thing in this scenario that place it vertically and horizontally inside in the view but after doing this look what image is like a disaster so what we will do is just to go to the image view inspector here and just see there's there are some uh, options available over here and we can use these option like center field or top or whatever we like to do and we can also ensure that we will have some width and height of the image let me just show you the width and height of the image it will display over here in this section the width is this and the height is this we don't need this but then I give the constraint to this image inside the view but we have to add the constraint and just check it twice or once that we have selected the So it looked pretty now and for now let's just see the vertical horizontal view of this and it shows like it's just dragging the view right why it's dragging the view just go again and check the inspector what we will do is 
zero, zero, zero. Round stick view. Like this. Again, with this view, we have to just add the constraints. Zero. Again, zero. Zero and again zero and this is the distance between the image view and the stick view right this is the distance between the image view and the stick view just add the constraints again with this we will just add over to the next view and just again we will do this zero zero and zero and now it's vertically or horizontally um, inside the view and it's um, in the middle of the view our image so we have to just align this and this and So now our view is completed. Let me just increase the size of this uh, button view because the size is too much. Like this. So our view is um, now aligned and um, it shows beautifully done. For me, uh, let's just head over the issues that it shows that the image view is what we do. So what we have to uh, do is remove this constraints because it's showing that this or this item is conflicting each other. So what we have to do is just delete one of them item. And by just clicking the tick and delete again same with this view we have to just click and delete this view and this constraint and then click again with this just delete them so that it will not give you again the error and now our program is error free and it look like this but I don't like the background color of uh, our app because we are using simple white theme so now the button is quite good and then our application uh, auto layout is complete right so just uh, run it over here in the uh, iPhone 11 and it's our emulator and it will be like over here that so that it is looking this much good and next session it will on this button click the image will be changed and the text will be changed or concatenate so if you are not a subscriber of this channel please subscribe this channel also like our facebook page which is UK Textions tutorial do follow me on instagram uh, as we are on instagram as UK Textions also and do share your thoughts under the comment section we will be back with another amazing tutorial inshallah allah hafiz